This place was a lot of fun. I've been there before years back and there are three levels that you can go to and you'll get lost in each one. They turn you around and twist you around. It's like being in a maze, but there's just all kinds to look at. And this is a tool channel, so that's why I focused on the tools. But there is anything and everything that you might want to look at in there. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. So uh, if you're in the area, hopefully you'll be able to visit that. And then they have not only those three levels, but then back in the back is this large warehouse area, which I don't remember last time I was there. But it is just packed full um, of stuff as well. That's where the anvils and all the, the Goodyear sign was and all that kind of stuff. The, it looked a little more rustic. But let me bring you down here on the bench and let's take a look at what we ended up with. So here's what we got at Yoder's Market or Yoder's Antique uh, Mall. I had, it's got this old square it's that brass um, it's you can't read it very well it's not very fancy or anything but it was very inexpensive and i thought you know what it it's good and i like the way it looks i like the brass on it and everything so we might try to clean it up a little bit but i don't think i'll ever be able to read what it says on there if there's any markings or measurements but um anyways also got these saw sets the sawtooth sets I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but you squeeze that, you put your saw blade in a saw vise, but then you set this down on top of it like that. And when you squeeze this, that little thing comes over and hits the tooth and will bend the tooth over and you set how deep you want that tooth. And both of these work a little differently. That one's more of a pistol grip. This one here, you have to set down on like that and you squeeze and you set that tooth and you can put pressure one way or the other if you need to. The saw uh, saw blade has teeth on it like this and you don't want it like just straight lined up because then the wood will end up binding on the blade. So you set those with an offset on each side and that creates what's called a kerf so that the gap you're making is wider than the, than the blade is. And so when you, you have to set that, if you set it too much, you're doing a lot of extra work and it will dull more quickly and it just isn't efficient. If you don't set it enough, it'll grab your blade. So you just have to know how to set those things so that they will set that off just enough so that each tooth is set opposite one another on your saw blades. Then I got this hatchet, you know, and I'm sure you're, probably asking why'd you buy another hatchet <laughs> and you know it, it's just a brand I don't have <laughs> so um, when you collect them and you find them like that they would look like it was in really good shape and so I thought I'd pick it up it wasn't expensive at all it, the, the handle is broken here but I think if I take and turn that into an octagonal handle we can clean that all up and hide that and it will just dis disappear so thought I'd get this and we can add it to the collection and then I got this what I'm presuming is a railroad hammer but it's really small and the head is just a little bit loose it's very rusted so I don't know if we're going to see any markings on it but it just looks so old and I really like the shape of the head so I wanted to get it so that we could clean it up um, the handle here is really busted up right here but I think I can I can cut this handle off here and we can drop this handle the head down onto this part right here which is still good and, and keep the integrity of the tool so the handle really is nice I like the way it looks so I don't really want to dispose of that and try to replace it so we'll try to keep that and um, all of these once we get back into the shop we'll do our best to do the little projects and show each one of these so i hope you'll join me then but uh, meanwhile we'll keep on hunting for the tools and i'll keep you informed on what we find and where we're at but if you're ever in the area please feel free to stop by yoder's 
here's the information for them to be able to find them and I think you can even get online with with them and they'll be able to sell you stuff or give you information as well like I said before it was a lot of fun to look through this place if you're ever in the area um, please do stop by I will put the address and everything at the end of the video so if you want to look this place up then you can um, but they had a bunch of stuff in there and it was great so thanks so much for joining me on this little trek through Antiqueville and uh, hopefully if you're in the area you can have a chance to to visit Yoder's Antique Mall. Thanks again. Have a great day. God bless.